So what we're gonna to do today is run through our mastering chain that we have in the Audio Animal Studio B, which is our Dolby Atmos mixing and mastering studio. I'm gonna go through each piece of equipment, show you exactly what it does, why I use it, where I use it, how I use it, and generally what it's great for. So the first unit that we go into is the Rupert Neve Portico 2. Now we use this as a stereo field editor, not as a compressor with how many people will use it, we use it as a stereo field editor where we can add saturation and we can really create a beautiful stereo image. So what we'll do is run into that, show you what that does. Next, we're gonna go into the Firmus V3, which is a four band EQ. And after that, we're gonna hit the SPL iron. So I'll work with the both of these in conjunction with each other. Um, notice when I use the SPL iron, the air bass. Now, listen to how that brings out the bottom end and it gives a lovely crisp to the top end. Next, we are going to use the Alicia envelope. Now, what I use the Alicia envelope for is after my compression, after I've done the compression on the SPL iron, I'm bringing out the transients. Now, you'll notice when I turn the attack up, you'll notice those transients get really sharp and um, we can really pull the transients back out of the uh, mix. So now we're gonna move over to the other side of the chain. That is the starting part of the chain where we go Portico 2, EQ, compression, and envelope. Now on this side of the mastering chain, we have the Golly Cross Compression EQ down the bottom. We then go into the Solid State Logic Fusion. We then hit the insert on the Fusion in mid side. We go to the Vertigo VSE 2. We then on the mid side as well, go to the Deessa. Then we come back, come out of the fusion, and we go up into the Golly Dynamic Shelvin EQ. So, first unit we hit is the Golly Cross Compressor. Now this, I will tell you, is one of the most essential pieces of equipment you can have in a mastering chain. We have three mastering chains here, and every mastering chain we have 
has a Golly Cross Compression EQ in it because it is such an essential tool. And I'll show you exactly why it's an essential tool. Songs like this, where you wanna pull out those kick drums, incredible. Does something that no other compressor or EQ can do. And let me just show you exactly what it's doing. So what we are going to do here is I'm turning the Golly Cross Compression low end off and I'm just keeping the high end active. Now what this is going to do is I'm gonna set the compression here, but it's not gonna actually do any compression on the, the audio source. What I'm then gonna do is cro use cross compression to send that compression over to the uh, high end of the, cross, uh, the Golly Cross Comp EQ. And what that's gonna do is when the compression hits, the high, the, the high band flicks up. So you get this kind of compression, the kick drum hitting and high frequencies popping through, which what it does is it creates this, this uh, kind of sound where you can, you can push a kick drum through the mix. And trust me, I'm just gonna play this and show you exactly what this does. Next we have the SSL Fusion. Now the Fusion, we're only going to use the Violet EQ, the High Frequency Compressor and the Stereo Imager. Next, we are going into the Vertigo VSC uh, 2 and the uh, Duressa, uh, which is basically a uh, high frequency limiter. We are doing that via mid side on the insert of the Fusion. So if we hit the insert button, we now insert the Vertigo VSE 2 and the Deessa. Next, and the final stage of the analog chain is the Dynamic Shelving EQ by Golly. Now, this is a really good tool, and I love all the, all the gear that Golly does because it's very unique. 
it's different from anything else that you will own. Uh, it's not just an EQ, it's not just a compressor. This is a dynamic EQ, low and high shelf. So what we're able to use this for is to catch our low end, make sure that that is perfectly balanced and catch any harsh frequencies up the top and kind of smoothen off the top end. So this is the Golly Dynamic EQ. Now what I'll do is I'll go through this chain, I'll mute everything and uh, just show you what all this is basically in, in, accumulating, doing over the course of a chain. So there we have the mastering chain that is located in the Audio Animals Dolby Atmos studio. Now what we do with this mastering chain is we mix in Dolby Atmos, we sum it down into stereo, which is binaural. So then we master a binaural stereo mix. What this achieves is far wider, more depth, more, more just kind of clarity in the mix. Uh, and then when we master it in stereo, we can then achieve this exceptional sound that is far superior to stereo and achieve a stereo master that has width, that has this lovely 3D image. Um, it's quite an exceptional experience for the, uh, for the client and it is, and I do say this a lot, it is a far superior way of working because the end result, when you compare from A to B, binaural stereo mastered through an analog chain compared to just standard stereo, even if it's stereo mixed on an analog console, it is so, so far superior working with Dolby Atmos. Um, so if you want to get involved, get into uh, this studio, start working myself um, on this mastering chain and even in the Dolby Atmos mixing, uh, head over to our website audioanimals.co.uk and book a session with me.